to keep yourself updated subscribe to indigo learn and click the bell icon friends now let us talk about the next aspect of partnership accounting which is about goodwill okay so now this discussion about goodwill is super interesting super important very frequently tested in our examinations so please pay utmost attention now what is the meaning of goodwill let us forget about accounting uh, learning what we are doing let us just get into real life and understand the meaning of goodwill if there is a super you know uh, there is a very famous superstar and that person is the hero in your movie is there an additional advantage what you have yes or no yes probably you might have because that person's name is familiar that person's action is accepted and that will make the people who are putting money into that particular movie say oh if that person is hero i am ready to put more money into it possible yes then now let us slightly bring it down to one much simpler level imagine you want to start a coffee shop you and i want to start a coffee shop we'll continue that example you and i want to start a coffee shop and i suddenly said hey why don't we go to cafe coffee day and ask if cafe coffee day wants to give us a franchise we will take that franchise and let us run the coffee shop in the name of cafe coffee day because maybe if i start something like uh, you know you and i coffee then maybe this is a new name that people would be seeing they may trust it they may not trust it but on the other hand imagine you are just driving on a road and you suddenly find cafe coffee day if i mean you see that and say oh i think i know what that cafe coffee day is so over time you get to build that credibility and trust so you thought oh why don't i start cafe coffee day franchise instead of starting a brand on our own called something like you and i brand now in a case like this what what do you really value it assume for a moment cafe coffee day is ready to give you uh, this the brand of cafe coffee day i am evaluating if it is a ccd outlet then maybe i can make a daily sale of 10000 rupees if it is my own outlet maybe i can make a sale of 4000 rupees now that extra premium what our extra sales what i am able to make it is not because of my greatness when i start a cafe coffee day franchise that extra 6000 what i am making per day is because of the good reputation what that company would have possibly built over many many years correct or not right so from that example you can say oh for that extra benefit what i am getting i would probably be willing to pay some extra premium to get that franchise so i might be ready to pay extra money so to set up a coffee shop maybe it takes me some 2 lakh rupees but for this i am ready to incur 2 lakh rupees plus maybe spend some 1 lakh rupee more 2 lakh rupees more you know for the purpose of this extra benefit what we are likely to get so friends what i mean by this is goodwill is an amount what your or goodwill is basically the extra benefit or superiority of one business over the other i think that is the right way to look at it goodwill is superiority of one business over the general other businesses that extra premium is what we call as goodwill are we clear about that even in these ipl uh, auctions which happen for players so you have some players who will be bought at some 12 crore rupees 15 crore rupees 15 crore rupees etc there might be some players bought at 50 lakh rupees 1 crore rupees so there is some premium what you are attaching to some over other because maybe you believe that it is worth paying that extra for the potential benefit what that person can generate to you are you clear about that so maybe you think that player is a match winner so for that match winning player you want to pay extra amount so that is what i mean by goodwill so superiority of one over the other which has the capability to generate extra benefit now that is the broadly the concept of goodwill now why are we learning the concept of goodwill in partnership think about it now i want to start a shop okay listen carefully i want to start a coffee shop alone i want to start a coffee shop alone now i'm changing the example i want to start a coffee shop alone and i feel okay maybe i will be able to make a sale of 4000 rupees per day and so on on the other hand you with another friend of yours already run a coffee shop you are making a turnover of some 20000 rupees a day and i said hey uh, would you mind i joining you as a partner and i will also bring money into the business 
shall I, shall I join you as partner is what I asked you. Now what is happening by my coming into your business so, and for a moment say it is equal partnership. So after I join the business what is happening instead of 4000 rupees I making from my coffee shop by joining your coffee shop as a partner maybe I will be a part of some 4000 rupees of benefit maybe I would have got here in, in my own coffee shop here maybe 20,000 benefit three people will get three people who are the three people you your friend I am also joining now earlier who was getting the 20,000 benefit maybe earlier that 20,000 benefit was shared between you and your other friend who started the coffee shop now you are allowing me to join the coffee shop as a partner say equal partner so that 20,000 by 3 now I am saying please divide or please share uh, 20,000 by 3 so like uh, 6,667 each of us will get is what I am asking you and you said fine now tell me instead of you getting a benefit of 10,000 rupees a day why are you ready to bring the benefit down from 10,000 to 6,667 because you have to share instead of sharing between two people now there is one more person why do you want this extra person to come in okay I will bring extra capital but for the fact that you are foregoing something the fact that you are foregoing something when I am coming in for that you will ask me to compensate you fair enough or not it's reasonable I will be ready to pay for it because I would have got only I would have gotten only 4000 rupees of benefit per day but here by joining you I see that I might get a benefit of 6667 per day which is much better than what uh, it would have been had I started so I am probably better off here for that I want to pay that extra benefit of what I am getting probably I will be ready to pay some premium so friends you understand why goodwill concept kind of comes up in businesses right now goodwill chapter broadly has two aspects what we need to understand valuation of goodwill this valuation means what how to determine the amount of goodwill what is the amount 1 lakh 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 1 crore. How do you decide that? That is one aspect of discussion. The other aspect of discussion is about how do you account for this goodwill? How do you account for this goodwill? So there are two broad aspects. One is valuation of goodwill. The other one is accounting for goodwill. Let's get started first with the valuation of goodwill. Now friends, there are different valuation techniques for goodwill. We have some of those methods like average profit method super profit method annuity method and capital employed method and so on so what we will do is we'll start taking problems and with the help of those problems we will be able to understand when i'm solving those problems it is not just solving problem along with concept discussion we will do all right let's get started